to be extradited onto the U.S. if the U.K. gives him to Sweden, and that the U.S., quote, um, would not give him a free trial. Now, Assange, he has been in the Ecuadorian embassy in London since June after he put in that request for political asylum. Uh, the Ecuadorian foreign minister, um, we also heard him angrily addressing the British government. The British Foreign Office earlier said that the U.K. has a legal duty to extradite Assange even if he is granted political asylum. And you heard it moments ago, Mr. Patino's response was this, quote, throughout the process of our talks, the U.K. has not given it all in helping to find a solution that satisfies all parties. Their message yesterday was, again, this is in his words, a clear attack to Ecuador as a sovereign nation. Uh, the Ecuadorian foreign minister, he also added that, quote, there isn't any law to justify an interference in diplomatic premises anywhere in the world. Now, again, Julian Assange, he has been granted political asylum by Ecuador. He has been holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London since June uh, requesting political asylum. And he has been granted that. It's not clear if the U.K. will allow him to leave. Artika Schubert, she is reporting outside the Ecuadorian embassy in London, and she joins us now. Natika, first, has the news reached there? Because I know that there are a number of protesters and Assange supporters there. There are a number of protesters, and there was a little bit of celebrating earlier uh, when it certainly seemed like the Ecuador is building the case for granting asylum. Uh, but it doesn't, it's not clear if that fundamentally changes the situation at the moment. It, it may be good news for uh, Assange and his supporters that he's been granted asylum by Ecuador, but he's still stuck inside the embassy there, and there is no indication that even though he has been granted asylum, that if he steps out, he won't be arrested by British police. And this is the dilemma that's still out there. Now, Ecuador has pointed out, they say, uh, that they, they, they feel that, that Britain has not been helpful. They have asked Sweden to question Assange uh, inside the embassy. That has been rejected by Sweden. And just to remind you that the allegations that he faces are based on the allegations of uh, sexual assault, uh, of uh, unlawful coercion in Sweden by two different women. Uh, so these, he has not been charged with anything yet. He's simply wanted for questioning. So even if he has been granted asylum, it doesn't resolve this problem that he, one, needs to be questioned by Sweden. He can't leave the embassy. And it's not clear even if he does somehow leave the embassy if he won't be arrested by British police and extradited to Sweden. So even though with this asylum granted, it doesn't clarify anything in terms of where Assange stands legally. Uh, Atika, is there any way Julian Assange can get himself out of the embassy, out of London, out of the country, and onto Ecuador? Bottom line, even though he's been granted political asylum in Ecuador, can he even leave? <coughs> I think the short answer to that is no. Uh, there, there are, there are possible ways. For example, Ecuador could make Julian Assange a diplomat to the United Nations, but that's a very long and involved process. This would give him enough diplomatic immunity, for example, to leave the country. But again, these don't seem like feasible options. If he simply leaves on his own, if he just walks out the door, then he's on British soil and British police could arrest him. So. It means that effectively, even though he's been granted asylum in Ecuador, he can't leave the embassy. There's no way for him to get to Ecuador without crossing over into British soil and facing arrest. All right. Fascinating case. What's going to happen next? It's all up in the air. Tika Schubert joining us live for this breaking story. Thank you very much, Adi. That's We Can Spectrum this week. Join us next week for a brand new edition of the program. On behalf of the production team, we say it Mubarak to you all. جزا الله أصحاب النبي محمد محمد جميعا كما كانوا له خير صاحب خير صاحب وآل رسول الله لا زال
I do not want to have development and it's not sustainable. And the only way you can have development is for there to be peace and security. And the only way you can sustain what has been developed so far and make it useful to the people also is ensuring peace and security. Mm -hmm. 